Who, uh, who are you talking to? Uh, one of our uh, 17 listeners just called up, uh, and I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to embarrass them, but they were having issues, and they said, yeah, I'm having all these stomach problems. And I, I went into the whole gallbladder discussion years ago, and Big D remembers this. I was very, very that sick. Was bad. We would, and, we would be on the air, and he would turn, we would be, ah, come back up, and he would turn the mic off and then throw up. The only thing that would make me feel better was to get everything out of my, it was terrible. Uh, so I went to one, two, three, three different gastroenterologists to try to figure out what was wrong. I drank all those barium shakes those really thick things so they can look at you under the MRI. I did all kinds of crazy I mean, stuff. You're, this, you're, like, you're in your mid-20s. Yeah. And, yeah, and I was early 20s. I would think mm -hmm. I was like 23, 24 years old. Yep. And they could not find out what was wrong with me. They kept telling me it was gas. Oh, it's gas pains. It's gas pains. I'm like, dude, this is not normal. And so I got on WebMD and I diagnosed myself. And I was like, it's my gallbladder. And they're like, yeah, but do you have family history? I'm like, I don't know. I'm adopted. I, I don't know my family uh -huh. history. So they're like, well, everything looks good. So they ran all the tests. Everything was fine. They're like, your gallbladder looks like it's perfect and this and that. And I'm like, man, that's what it is. So finally, the third gastro uh, doctor was like, well, I mean, yeah, what do you want to do? And I said, take it out. Just take it out. I don't need it. Take it out. And he was like, well, I, I still urge against this but if that's what you want to do it's an elective surgery the whole thing i woke up after the surgery and felt something i'd never felt in years and that was good yeah, no and pain. it wasn't just from the painkillers i could feel that ache that had been there every single day so used to for it. years that I, my body was it was different it was uh, and mm -hmm. and i was like that was it that i could totally tell and the doctor walked in and he said I want to apologize to you. Oh. Because everything. I took out your liver. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said everything that we ran on all the tests said that your gallbladder was fine. He said, I went in there and I've never seen one so bad. How he did said, they miss he that so much? He said it was he said if it wasn't 100 percent failure it was 99 percent failure uh. and he was like i don't know how the test never hmm. picked up on this uh. and I, I just you know sometimes people can be wrong and it was it was cool that a doctor came and apologized after because i still remember the day he told me the same doctor he goes you cannot self-diagnose yourself on webmd and blah 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 uh, but he was super cool and he wouldn't let me keep it that was also the thing <laughs> i'm like i'm like can i have it and he's like no it's already been disposed of i'm like oh Oh, mine just got obliterated that when they go in and you do the uh they they do the little incisions oh they change it and now? i think they just like pew 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 oh. laser it and it just breaks Doesn't up work. or they get rid of it so somehow. they changed the surgery since i, I think had mine. so maybe oh. i'm i think that's what it was that yeah they break it up and then take it out anyway i was just thinking about that that's anyway that was the call was about i was like look just keep don't just listen to one doctor go to different ones somebody will figure it out and somebody will pick it up i'm on webnd right now and it says that's camera right. It says I'm morbidly, what? No. Yeah, obese? No, really? <laughs> well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.